Good morning. A warm welcome to our guest speakers and participant to launch of our platform Hydrogen Energy Forum. Hydrogen is coming up as a fuel of the future and will play a vital role in energy transition. Being a developing uh, technology, everyone is looking for more details. Therefore, knowledge sharing becomes important. I will request our director, uh, Dr. Patra, to share more on hydrogen industry, networking, and knowledge sharing. Dr. Patra is a former executive director of BPCL. He has extensively worked in the area of petroeconomics and energy transition, authored many books and papers. So I'll request Dr. Patra to start, please. Is the screen visible, uh, Manju? Yes, sir. OK. Uh, good morning to all my esteemed participants in this uh, um, wonderful meeting that has been organized by IESD. And welcome to the meeting. Uh, it's a launching program of Hydrogen Energy Forum. Uh, uh, friends, we all are aware that we are passing through some kind of chaotic time as far as energy converse of our country is concerned, not only our country, it's the whole world is concerned. Many things are happening simultaneously. Many developments on many fronts. But that development which was happening in a systematic or organized way has been disrupted by many unwanted developments. Namely, just to speak a couple of them, one is COVID-19 that almost immobilized the whole world for about an year. And while it was about to come out of this COVID, we have a war kind of situation that has been imposed on us. And the hardest hit sector is the energy. Somehow, whether it is good time or bad time, it is energy which is in the front of the development, the progress, the activities, the civilizational growth, and human endeavor, all kinds of human endeavor. Now, the chaos that we are facing, though it is unprecedented, unwanted, disruptive, and whatnot, but we are also aware that humanity has passed through this kind of chaos at many points in time and emerged victorious, emerged stronger, wiser, amidst all kinds of trials and tribulations that kind of attempt to debilitate us. So current situation requires that kind of resilience that kind of a drive to move forward unhindered by whatever is happening around. So the order of the day is change, development, disruptions, transformations, evolutions, and business cycle, and many more. Now coming to Human society is concerned, the energy sector is concerned, this change and development and disruptions and transformations is affecting us in many, many ways. And what we have, McKinsey has done here, they have kind of identified where are we getting affected? And they are saying we are getting affected in organization, in financial sector, in technology, in operation, in business model, in addition to that reputational resilience is also required to maintain the geopolitical and geoeconomic resilience what is required today. Friends, we in IESD 
are very much seized of these issues day in and day out and we find if we have to have a sealed up cover around us it is only one thing that can that can protect us lead us and takes us further and that one thing is knowledge 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 and 100 times knowledge it is the pursuit of knowledge it is the cultivation of knowledge which can provide us a pathway out of the rest chaotic situation that we are confronting it is the world of knowledge and of course experience iesd has been in the cutting edge of innovational learning programs on hydrogen and leading to certification many of you my esteemed participants you have been part of this process you have gone through the programs your participation has enlightened us to make the program more effective more vigorous more structured more systematic more focused and more user friendly and today iest is offering a bouquet of programs not one and participants from diverse background and from all kinds of organizations including who's who of india inc they have gone through the program and today iest can reasonably reasonably take a satisfaction that it has created a mass of hydrogen champions in the country besides the program there are some events like guest lectures various knowledge mobilization tools like newsletters classified literatures webinars etc also have been organized during past 8 months and everything put together to me it looks like there is an institutional movement that has been created by iest in the arena of knowledge in the skill formation in the frontier area of energy and arising from there a kind of all encompassing initiative that is that is going to be launched today that is hydrogen energy forum of iest now we believe that knowledge acquisition is a continuing process and knowledge proliferates in multi directional orientation therefore it is better that knowledge is placed on a digital and universally accessible platform and knowledge is application oriented and application induced and therefore experienced and working professionals are the most appropriate agent of knowledge exchange now from these beliefs from these axiomatic axiomatic hypothesis the hydrogen energy forum has been created now friends the forum is here it is hosted today it is launched today with the participations with the positive orientation of so many people who are perhaps here today or who may not be here but the platform will remain it will serve the cause of energy it will be a platform of network it will be a platform of pooled knowledge and shared orientation 
I have absolutely no doubt that this platform will grow from height to height, from strength to strength, and it will evolve itself as the energy scenario in this country or in the world takes us further. Thank you. We seek best wishes from all of you. We have our own energy and drive and resources to make it a grand success. Take it further long and much, much longer than an individual can foresee. And everything that I have said about IESD and about Hydrogen Energy Forum is the brainchild of one person, one and only one. He is Mr. Sanjay Kaur. He is well known to you all. He is well known in the industry. He has his own place in the educational entrepreneurial world. And friends, it is my extreme pleasure to invite him and request him to speak few words on this auspicious occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Patra, uh, for an energetic uh, introduction to the Energy Forum. I particularly like the uh, various colors in the Energy Forum logo, which shows various kinds of hydrogen whether it is green, gray, yellow, violet, but it is all hydrogen. And that signifies uh, a lot of variety we as individuals or we as species uh, on the planet possess. So uh, my compliments to uh, recognize all sources of hydrogen production from uh, in your very logo itself. Uh, I also want to congratulate you <laughs> on for being the only Indian nominee on the uh, uh, on being uh, nominated for a lifetime achievement award, uh, we wish that it's only a, a recognition of the academic bent of mind you brought into your vocation and continuing saga of academic research, academic contribution uh, to our industry. So. Uh, I salute you for your mission and wish you the best for many much more contribution. Coming back to Hydrogen Forum, uh, essentially whether it is a forum or an industry or a techn technological rollout, whether earlier rollouts have happened, digital banking, any rollouts you see uh, where uh, the industry goes through a transformation at the level of technology, uh, normally there are three factors. Which, which works in its favor. The first factor is that whether there are sustainable and very hard pushing economic and policy drivers for it. The second is, is there a crisis to serve as a catalyst for it? Because if the second world war was the largest contributor to from atomic technology to every kind of technology you can think of, there has to be a catalyst, not necessarily a war, but some challenge. I am sure that we learned that uh, remote working or work from home is normal because there was a crisis of pandemic. So uh, a crisis is a very good ingredient uh, of a technology rollout. And the third is whether there is an ecosystem uh, for that technology uh, to roll out. Uh, ecosystem is essentially the business model, the investment proposals, the investment promotion, incentives, legislations, policies, all the announcements, which goes into uh, uh, rolling out that technology. If you see the forum and the hydrogen, all these factors are there. And uh, that is what makes us most optimistic that it is time for the professionals in this in this arena to now start collaborating and acting as a neural system uh, for this technology to be rolled out. So there are enough resources and enough impetus 
uh, in the academic research, technology, supplier, vendor, uh, government, all people to come together. If you see the economic and policy driver, uh, the cost of production is coming down by the month. So one can safely assume that we are reaching a point where it will, will not be an issue. Uh, whether it is six months from now or six years from now, one doesn't know. But there is sufficient uh, research which is staging itself every day, whether in storage technology, battery storage technology, or in production, or uh, in the associated areas, or what can work on hydrogen, how much of it can be doped in natural gas. In every area, every day records are breaking. So uh, there is enough economic uh, impetus. Policy-wise, every um, nation, most energy business houses, they have all have published and committed targets. From UN to each country, 2030, 2050, it's very well woven now uh, into the net zero goals. And when we are talking of removing even poverty by 2030, uh, this is this place part uh, plays a part there. Well, Mr. Uh, Dr. Patra has already highlighted the various crises. Um, Ukraine is the latest, which is essentially an energy geopolitics uh, issue. Uh, climate change is a continuous unfolding crisis. Uh, floods today, um, typhoons tomorrow, uh, melting glaciers rising sea levels, even plastic uh, in the sea, is, co is continuously reminding us to control the temperature of the planet. And hydrogen is the latest and the best answer we seem to be uh, sort of a, uh, getting for it. Uh, of course, the ecosystem is there. Every day we see published and committed goals. Even the largest business houses in India itself also have announced very, very ambitious goals in terms of not having only production distribution facility, but having giga parks, mega uh, uh, you know, industrial cities based on sustainability. So uh, definitely there the... Uh, Hydrogen will play a very, very critical and transformational role. So in summary, what I'm saying is it is time for the professionals to recognize this, that all elements for this uh, fuel to be produced, transported, stored, applied, used is now there. What's in it for us? I think if we do not read this right and decide for us what is that we need to do, then the role of ISD or any forum would not be uh, uh, forthcoming. Very clearly, as professionals, we need to understand its value chain as it is developing. From production and uh, sourcing of the energy source from which it is produced, to the point where it is used and how economic or efficient it is, we need to understand that. This knowledge would be very, very handy when we are starting something new or transitioning. I was recently talking to uh, uh, the head of one of the biggest uh, dairy cooperative uh, in the country, and they have the entire chain they have access to farmers where they collect milk. They can also uh, collect bioproduce. Bioproduce, they get methane. Methane, they have the option uh, to convert uh, to hydrogen or to use it. So each of the business, if we understand the value chain, will have the hydrogen option the next day. From tri-generation technologies, we have gas uh, everywhere in every building today. So. Uh, do we need to bring in an electricity which is produced at 3,000 kilometer or 3,500 kilometer, or we can use tri generation? We have turbines. Do we run them on hydrogen or we 
we continue to use gas. For every decision of today, if we understand the value chain as it is there or it is there a couple of years later, we should be able to do our planning right. We must understand the components costing and carbon cost of the fuels we use to produce hydrogen. Very important. A very serious questions are being raised about geopolitics, about e-vehicles, e the battery technology, and the precious metals it uses, which may be more damaging in the short run than in the long run. So we have to be careful, uh, uh, you know, not to sort of uh, go without facts about certain technologies uh, in it and make sure that hydrogen is so positioned well that rather than a fad, it is a concrete solution. Uh, a futuristic solution, an efficient solution. The other thing is that in the overall context of the industry, whether it is pharma industry, whether it is infrastructure industry, railways, or any industry we are talking about, we need to understand the fitment of these technologies in context of that industry. You cannot, we cannot afford as professionals to run with the production, distribution, storage, health, safety, everything, and ask every industry to adopt it. It has taken 100 years for the hydrocarbons to be converted from merely a transportation fuel to a hard wall, to, the, to, to my shirt or to my pen or to my computer. So it is important to understand it in context with every industry. There are obvious ones like refinery and uh, uh, fertilizer, et cetera. But a huge amount of it is outside that. So, uh, dear professionals, uh, which uh, include all the people who will be seeing the recording, is I don't think that our study or our practice is complete without having the understanding of future fuels, including fundamentally hydrogen, uh, for the next coming decade. And a forum like this, uh, helps a lot in terms of connecting our collective uh, thinking on it, sharing what we are doing. However, I would like to also end this with a couple of challenges to be more realistic. First challenge is, is that most of the hydrogen demand or most of the policy push is coming from traditional sectors, which is refining fertilizer power. And that is okay as a policy driver because it pays for its research and its implementation. But we have to be careful that when we go and study it, it is better to first study it in the traditional sectors where it has a ready business case and a policy case. The other thing is most of the projects which are coming on are either pilots or demonstrative projects. They are, they are not representative of what hydrogen actually can do, given that, uh, you know, uh, it is, uh, you know, from infrastructure point of view, from usage point of view, it is free from some of the disadvantages it has because of a startup. So it is very understand, uh, it, is, it is good to understand these projects as one would understand pilot projects or demonstrative projects. The third important point to understand is while there is a big uh, 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 noise on, on the internet on very, very large scale projects being announced and talked about, the FIDs on that, which is financial investment decision, which really is the financial closure of that project. Uh, is very, very low and um, it's more in the medium term than in the, in the short term or near term. Uh, as per a given estimate, only 4% of worldwide projects in the pipeline, other than the traditional sectors, uh, have got FID. So while these are in the planning stage, uh, this actually is an advantage because it gives all professionals time for the next 24 months to gear up for it. 
that when these uh, large projects hit their financial investment decisions, we would be ready for it. The other challenge is that CCUs, which can revolutionize hydrogen production in the interim period, uh, because obviously it's from the fossil fuel, are yet to become a normal. Uh, it is more being seen as a convenient thing. Uh, you know, it's like taking a medicine with the side effects being taken care of. So, uh, you know, so we have to be careful that when we plan, CCU is equally studied and taken seriously uh, in order to make sure that the primary core we need as a production figure of hydrogen, that critical point is reached earlier than later. So essentially, the entire set of challenges are there to be overcome, to be, to be actually, it is hydrogen from fossil fuel with CCU versus hydrogen from renewable energy to create that arena rather than hydrogen competing with fossil fuels, which has importance, which will be required in the interim realm, but not good for climate change uh, reasons. So uh, if I have to summarize, whatever I'm saying is that how can professionals help in the hydrogen forum that they create an arena where we are not talking about there is enough technology, enough knowledge, enough planning, enough expertise available that we are not, we get out of the debate from, uh, for, from you know, fossil fuels versus hydrogen to fossil fuel produced hydrogen with CCUs versus hydrogen produced by renewables. So I wish everyone um, uh, a great, uh, networking through the Hydrogen Forum. Uh, there is excitement every day in this area, and I'm sure that the Hydrogen Forum team will ensure that that excitement reaches all participants of the forum. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And now let's have a view what is available on the platform. Uh, let us have the objective of the forum. Basically, this has been created a platform for networking amongst professionals in energy industry and pooling and sharing knowledge centering around hydrogen and associated subjects like renewable energy, energy transition, and net zero. Helping and sponsor, uh, sponsoring research in hydrogen, including upcoming energy carriers. And promoting and being part of United Nations Sustainable Development. So objective of our forum is basically networking, uh, hydrogen energy and knowledge sharing. So how one can become the members for this forum? So membership is uh, voluntary and tenured for a year. And membership of Hydrogen Energy Forum is open to all. It is premised that members of Hydrogen Energy Forum are actively engaged in professional development and are contributing to propagation of clean energy in their respective field of work. And it acts like a vehicle of the members for professional development, learning opportunity, and networking in Hydrogen community. Members of Hydrogen Energy Forum entails annual subscription fee, which will be fixed by the competent com uh, committee. Uh, who can become the members of this forum? These can be certified hydrogen professionals, uh, means all the alumnus of IESD are already members of uh, this forum, members of hydrogen energy, analyst of hydrogen energy, 
bloggers who are working in hydrogen energy, YouTuber of hydrogen energy forums and fellow of hydrogen energy. And what are the available features of this platform? That is one-to-one -one networking of the professionals, sharing of knowledge, learn and update themselves on the growth and happenings in the industry of hydrogen and renewables. And how one can benefit from this platform. So members can chat, post their uh, articles, can comment, post job opportunities in the industry, project reports, newsletters, and members will get the opportunities for studies and prepare reports that sponsored by Hydrogen Energy. That will be ISD. And I can just share what one can find on the platform. There will be energy transition news, there will be YouTube links, but all are related to hydrogen energy and renewable and around the hydrogen industry, you can see. Articles on hydrogen, projects on hydrogen, experiences, data and statics, training programs, international cooperation, technical collaborations, energy security, energy efficiency, policies and accelerate clean energy, information on major events, conferences, seminars, and exhibitions. So this is all which is available on the platform. And who can become the members? Of course, as I said, all the LMNS of uh, IESD are members. We have already created email ID and login IDs for them. And other aspirant members will make an application Besides personal uh, profile and contact details, they can just write a few words in 300 words. And aspirant members must associate it with Drew recommendation referees who are either professionally related to the applicant member or some professional association. So it is open to all. It's not only to the alumnus. And anybody who is interested to know more on, you can write to us, you can contact us. And I request everybody to uh, post their questions if anything is there so that we can answer it regarding this platform or any of the hydrogen. So now I'll request Mr. Salab Gupta to have his views and I'll just uh, inform Mr. Salab Gupta is also alumni of ISD and has done our both the courses hydrogen technology and mastering blue hydrogen. Mr. Salab Gupta is a professional with over 29 years of experience in business development and project management in Indian and international market. He has master's degree in mechanical engineering from Russia. He has vast experience in developing new markets, securing businesses, and successfully implementing projects across USSR, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East in infrastructure domains like power generation, transmission, and distribution. Please, Mr. Gupta. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Manju Sena. Mr. Sanjay Kaul, Dr. Devesh Batra, and my fellow participants in this web webinar. A very green and clean good morning to all of us. Clean, I would say, because the rains in the past couple of days have improved the air quality to quite an extent. And green, because green is the talk of the town. You talk of renewable energy, you talk of green hydrogen, and the likes of it. I would also like to thank IESD for giving me this opportunity to share my views and uh, thoughts on the importance of networking in the hydrogen domain. Hydrogen is the buzzword in corporate circles as well as governments across the globe. And there could have been no better time than now for IESD to come up with these certification programs in hydrogen, of which I am also a recipient. These short-term programs have greatly aided my understanding of the entire hydrogen value chain, as well as the ecosystems required to venture into the hydrogen domain. As mentioned by Mr. Sanjay Kaul a couple of minutes ago, climate change and global warming are two major challenges which need to be combated. Governments across the globe and are networking and sharing ideas across a multitude of initiatives to address these challenges. And one such initiative is taking the hydrogen industry from its infancy stage to a matured economy. 
propagating and focusing on hydrogen production, storage, and transportation will play a crucial role in the coming decades. Now let's come to talking about networking. Your network is your net worth. These words encapsulate the story of any business success. Like any network which requires a platform to perform, IESD has also come up with the Hydrogen Energy Forum. And I congratulate the entire team of IESD on this major initiative. This program will act as a one-stop solution, not only for manufacturing, contracting, and allied companies associated with the hydrogen industry, but also will bring together a pool of like-minded resources and professionals who will exchange their ideas and their thoughts in making the hydrogen story a success. To cite a small example, as we know, electrolyzers are one of the most critical component in hydrogen production. With proven technologies not being available in India as on date on a massive scale, this forum can serve as a springboard for companies and individuals to investigate the possibilities of association with hydrogen with international companies already having the prerequisite knowledge and expertise in manufacturing. These associations can be in the form of joint ventures, technology transfers, and the likes of it. Having said that, I would like to introduce two terms which I have coined for myself, and these are LHN and WHN, which according to me stand for Local Hydrogen Network and World Hydrogen Network. These two terms are of significant importance in the global context and specifically in the Indian context when we talk of achieving net carbon zero, uh, net zero carbon by 2070 and establishing India as a major export hub as envisioned in the National Hydrogen Mission. With the stiff deadlines and steep targets set forth by the government of India in the hydrogen domain, the obvious question comes, why reinvent the wheel and waste some precious time? While technological researches and advancements can keep happening, the need of the hour is to collaborate and uh, uh, with, uh, collaborate with established manufacturers and accelerate the advancements towards achieving the targets set forth. I would not uh, try to drag this too long. And in the end, what I would just like to say is that networking leads to collaborations and collaborations lead to successful businesses. So we already, as members of the IESD platform, have set the foundation for this platform to grow. And uh, definitely, with our combined efforts, our collaborative approach, and uh, uh, togetherness, we can work towards making the hydrogen industry a success. So with this, I had these few points in mind. Uh, Ms. Manjusina, I would uh, hand it over to you and maybe we can open the forum. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gupta. Now we can just have a look on the website, how one can access it. So I'll request my colleague, Araz Khan, to share his screen, please. So our website is basically www.hydrogenenergyforum.com. And this is the homepage. One can see what are the available things on the website. That is, one is, please educate me. Features of the platform, one can see what is the mode of subscription. This is, please educate me. All the programs of IESD are available. These, all the links are clickable and can reach on the website. So it's like that. Close 
close the website, right? Then we have mentioned the features of the platform on the second. What is available? Energy transition new YouTube links, articles on hydrogen, projects on hydrogen. Then subscription, definitely we will come soon on this. We have uh, nothing to mention here because all it is open to all LMNS. And as soon as we decide on the subscription, we will come with it. Uh, then one can post the job opportunities, recommend referrals. There are discount through referral groups on admission on schemes. So that one can see on this platform. We have provided a login ID and password to all alumni of our ISD programs. So one can log in. And we can reach the home page. So we have created a profile of each person, but uh, once you get a login ID and password, you can complete the profile because we have just completed a few things which shows 33%. You can make groups of within the uh, members. Apart from that, basically you can share posts, your videos, photos, comments, the way we can do in any other social media platform. We can tag people also. Close this. Then there is a notification column where you can see ki who has posted any of the posts or articles or anything. So one can see here, one can follow us on social media on all the platforms. One can see who are the all members who are active and they can directly chat with them. So let's go to the next. This is members. Once all the members have entered, we can see all the members here. Then there is the next column as articles. So one can post the articles. There are a few articles which we have posted here. That is, there are articles of Mr. Sanjay Kaul. So one can click on the link and read all the articles. Go back. Similarly, there are LinkedIn articles also. We have compiled together what is available related to hydrogen on LinkedIn. So one can see all the related posts related to hydrogen industry over here. Let's go to Educate Me. Educate Me gives all the access of energy transition news, keynote sessions. It will take you to the news which has been already posted or coming up. Keynote session till date which we have organized. So one can have the complete video like we have done on by Mr. Deepak Goel on 12th of March, 5th of March, sorry. Then there was a keynote session by Dr. Deepak Mahurkar on 12th of March, which is available. Earlier, it used to be available on only on LMS and to the uh, current learning uh, participants only. Then there are YouTube videos related to hydrogen renewable. One can go and see all are compiled together. Let's go back. 
and there is a projects library. So we have uploaded a few of the projects which we shortlisted. Definitely all the projects received by IESD will be uploaded. That will be a project library and one can consult on these projects. So you can have XFS of around 200 projects, which will be available on this forum. Then there are events, conferences, and seminars which are upcoming. One can have a access, join, have a link of that. So currently these are the available things on the platform. Suggestions are always welcome. And if you have any questions related to the forum, please ask us, please post in chat box. And we will be posting login ID and passwords to all participants by today evening. So if you have any questions, please. Okay, uh, before the questions uh, come up, just uh, one comment about uh, what uh, Manju has just displayed and exhibited the site, its menu, its uh, content, its structure, then the various options and various uh, things available there. So my personal feeling at, as I have gone through just as a demo is that it's wealth of knowledge which has been captured there. Uh, I don't think there is any parallel to this kind of content uh, repository anywhere uh, else available and accessible, uh, I, I sort of freely. Second is the technology uh, call, uh, uh, provisions which have been provided, the access, the um, kind of uh, maneuverability, everything is so up to date that uh, uh, now I am getting a further reassurance that this site is going to be very useful to all of us. Thank you. Any questions or interaction? Otherwise, we may call it a day. So, um, if you may kindly permit me, I would just like to add to what uh, Dr. Patra was mentioning. Uh, and specifically with reference to the uh, certification programs, which we all have gone through. The content of the program was, uh, you know, it was compiled in such a manner that it gave a holistic approach towards the entire and, and an introduction to the hydrogen industry because a lot of people have been talking about it, but when we went through these certification programs, we could understand much better as to what are the opportunities and where the world is going towards. So definitely with, with the launch of this forum, it is an it would be a great opportunity for all of us to contribute towards whatever the targets uh, we have set, not only for the nation, but also internationally. Thank you, Mr. Gupta. Basically, there are a few people who are asking for login ID and password. Definitely, we are sending through mail to all of you by evening today. So you will be getting the login ID and password and you can access the website. And there is a question, is there any page where every morning we can see latest global updates on hydrogen business? This can be homepage after login ID and can be linked to stuff inside the portal. Uh, at the moment, we are compiling every week all the news. Definitely, we will be trying to update every morning. So this is a suggestion from one person, and we will definitely try to include it. Thank you so much. If anybody has any question, or we will uh, close it. OK, before we close, yes, sir. Uh, my sincere thanks to Manju 
and all the teams working day in and day out at IESD to build this forum, to construct this site, website, and to organize this event today as it is happening. And every day, of course, there are build-ups happening, a lot of activities in terms of networking, in terms of content management, in terms of technology management, and all these things happening in the background. So my sincere thanks, appreciation uh, to all the team members, including Manju, who is the host of the day. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. This is all inspirations from you people that we are able to do this, such things. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for participation. Namaskar. Thank you.